Hello YouTube and welcome to Richmond site to race number 26 for the Reebok Truck Series season number 5 and alongside me once again is Stephen Paul III. Hello guys. On the front row today will be Seb Kukulon alongside James Ellison on the front row. Row 2 will see a couple of TRD teammates in the form of Rob Evans and Matthew Eves. Row 3, Paul Swanson, Joshua Hyatt. Row 4 sees Robert Young star alongside the Michigan winner, Ryan Hill. And in row number 5 will be Card Pollard and Daniel Gitteroke. A couple drivers, actually one driver that's still trying to clinch his spot in the chase, another one just looking for extra points. Here's the rest of Stun Grizz. I hand over to Steven for his thoughts and predictions. So we got 16, 13 drivers locked in. It pretty much comes down to Ryan Hill, Gitteroke, Seb Kukulon, and Quentin Moore who gets in. But if we have a new winner, it becomes that who comes the lower. Also, if if some miracle, Zayn Adula and Cole Deaver could pass, Rob Evans, Kev Shearer, Zach Flickinger, we take 15 and then two people out with a win. So it's definitely going to be interesting. It's the Game 7 moment. You got to get a win. Our final row is Ryan Houston and Brett Hill. You got to get a win to get into the chase, or you're going to have to have a lot of luck in here. 50 laps is about as long as the cup race was last year. Paul Swanson is the only former winner in the field for the truck series. So who can clutch out a game seven moment here and win the race? Uh, he mentioned the points. I'll get to it real quick. Zach Flickinger comes in as the points leader by 70 points over Kev Shear. Is 85 back to Rob Evans. We'll go trackside for the command, though. Drivers, start your engines. Two drivers math with a mathematical shot of leaving here as the points leader without a win so far this season are Muhammad Zanadula and Cole Deaver, as mentioned before. Uh, the 27 truck for Adula comes into this race 132 points back of Zach Flickinger, and it is 133 points back to Cole Deaver. So it's a very it's a very big long shot for those two, so likely it will be a driver with a win that grabs the points lead. And um, what, what also matters with that too is uh, 25, 18, 15 points. So they want, you want to be the regular season champ because every point matters into the, into the new format. Uh, yeah, so all three series will have that uh, Formula One style reward system for the top 10 points as the pace truck is off. And the Trigger Kevshire weekend is officially <laughs> underway as the Trigger Kevshire 200 is green. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> You can thank me for that one. Rob Evans trying Last to trigger Kev some more. This year is Pollard. Yeah, next year will be Johnny. Um, As Kukulon cleared quickly for the race wide. lead, but now Evans trying to clear as well down the back straightaway. Ellison able to clear and get back in line for third. Here comes Paul Swanson, season three winner here, coming up to the field. Robert Young, uh, somebody's on. Uh, I think those are from practice, though. Ellison back up to second. Evans now stuck on the outside line, losing a spot there to Paul Swanson. They're still getting up to speed as well, only in third gear right now. Yeah, it's uh, Seb Kukul on one at Barber uh, two races ago, so trying to get another win. Now the caution flag flies. Sam Young, Sam Young looks to be involved. Uh, oh, Gardner Johnny. might have actually already taken the caution flag. Uh, oh, so caution flag waves early on. Seb Kuklon probably liking that as well, especially considering it looks like Ellison was battling him for the race lead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and take a look back at what happened for the 77 and then take you back to the restart. Taking a look back at what happened coming off turn number four between the 77 of Sam Young and the 19 of Johnny Gardner. Contact there between the two of them, and that sends the 77 for a spin. Uh, not much yeah. Sam Young. Oh, and then contact with the 25. Not much Sam Young was actually battling for. He, if Really, the only thing was if he could get into the top ten points. Yeah, um, Johnny Johnny just uh, – Johnny had some little temper splinter from the duel. <laughs> And that actually wasn't it from that. Um, as then, yeah. Oh, retaliation. Sam Young decided to get a little extra piece there of this uh, 19. Does damage to the back bumper and the rear spoiler of the 19, as well as damage to the nose of the Mobile One Dodge. God, that was a hard hit, too. God, that might be concussion. Uh, and... With that said, let's go ahead and go back to the restart. 
Field has been given the one to go signal on lap seven, so we'll go green next time by. Seb Kuklon continues to lead. He's led every lap, and James Ellison now second. Swanson is third. Robert Young, Card Pollard, Rob Evans, Matthew Eves, Chad White, and or sorry, Joshua Height, and Joseph Srigley, top ten. Ryan Hill, Dylan Young, Stephen Paul III, Daniel Gitterick, Jessica Shelton, Sky Commons, Scott Upton, Kyle Matthews, Bafod Sacco, and Juan Fernandez, the top 20. Show you the rest of the running order as they come to the green this time. Yeah, there's Quinton right there. Gitterick is out of the 23. And there's the top 42. Pace car is off, and we're back to racing here on lap 8. We got 32 truck trying to get another win, but Ellison's hot Good in Good restart there for James Ellison, looking for the lead as they go into turn one. This doesn't yeah, mean that, anything for Ellison. He can't make the chase even with a win. Yeah, the next meaningful person, I believe, is Chad White in eighth, who was 30th and uh, 30th uh, in points. He was 29th, actually, coming in. 29th, sorry. Uh, his, uh, Ellison's teammate, though, Robert Young, making a move up to second. There's maybe some trouble back here. Or at least the potential trouble. They were three wide for a moment. Back to two. Why does it go into turn one? Sky Commons really trying to make that chase. Oh, contact oh, 13 oh, into the... Saved it. Wow. Oh, how did we save that? Great save for Ryan Hill and Scott Upton. And they went up the hill for that save. Well, Fode Sacco, don't do it. Daniel Gitter out there. Fode Sacco makes a move. Three wide again. Now Juan Fernandez makes it three wide on the 23 and 76. Juan Fernandez close to the front. What is this? Never mind. They're going to wreck. Oh, oh they're wow. trying to wreck. They keep it together right now. Still three wide as they go into turn three. I see some smoke, but that cost is not out. I think it's the, John Silver think it's last the week lights winner. on the inside that you're seeing there. Yeah, John Silver won last week. Barely won last week's race, I might add. Uh, there you see a little bit damage. of damage there to the 13. Scott Upton trying to work his way to the front. Jessica uh, Shelton is, as well, looking for her first win of the year. In uh, this series, so, at least. Yeah, Robert Young will finish second to Kyle Matthews. That goes up to second. He goes Hyatt. No, it's still third. Hyatt. Still third. Still third. Hyatt is uh, up here. We haven't seen much of him. Uh, Dylan Hyatt Young. will make the chase. There's no doubt about that. If he can get an extra win, though, that's worth 15 points when they start the chase. And for yeah. each uh, round of the chase leading up to uh, Homestead. Yep. Uh, so Hyatt trying to under-attack for Young, who snapped his losing streak to get himself to the chase well, this year. He's actually trying to battle Pollard. Going to clear him. Dylan Young actually going to make the move there inside of the 11. Chad White, Rob Evans, Jessica Shelton battling for position back in the back of this picture there. Yeah, Card Paul won at Sonoma and Mansfield this year. Paul Swanson won somewhere I don't remember off the top of my head. Uh, 30 with absolutely no momentum off turn number four. Dives it into turn one, though, inside of the two. Uh, Swanson won in Martinsville <laughs> from the pole. Meanwhile, Robert Young unable to do anything right now with Seb Kuklon taking a peek off turn number four. Here comes Matthew Eves as well. It's about ready to be a blue oval racing one two. Nothing like everybody below have no impact of the chase being one two. <laughs> well, this is a team that has struggled mightily so far this season, looking for better things as they go into next season. Maybe these two trying something out and. If they are, whatever they're trying is going to make its way over onto those other two trucks, I would have believe. Yeah, the, six, the double zero, the Kentucky winner, Matthew Eves, he's trying to get down the inside. Not going to be able to do it. Robbie actually He's going to clear for third. That's going to allow Seb Kuklon to be under attack from Joshua Hyatt there in the 11. The only one who really should be coming up here as hard as he is, Chad White, and not in 10 team needs to get a win. Well, right now it doesn't look possible for him right now. It doesn't look like he has the right truck. Here comes Matthew Eves looking for second. Eves is yep. eighth in points coming in, so fighting for extra bonus points there. He's 34 points back of Dylan Young for the next possible spot. Uh, 32 cars going to move the 11 a little bit. Uh, Yep, Kuklon trying to just protect whatever he can to Three make wide. the chase. Three wide right here. Shelton, Young, and Card Pollard. Gets back to two wide. Right 
Dylan out of Rock last week at Texas. No, yeah, they jumped the restart last week at Texas. Uh, no, no, he passed the pace truck. Passed the pace truck, that's what it was. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I was going to say, we're getting reports that there was a pit stop. It was the 25. Yeah, he needed a Budweiser. <laughs> uh, probably some side effect of the damage, truthfully. Paul Swanson's trying to make the move for fourth, and looks like he'll have it as they go down into turn number three. That's going to open the door for Dylan Young to make a move as well. Shelton's going to try and make it three wide now on the oh uh, two and 32. I'll do it. Well, Shelton right now is uh, Ford's best chance in this race of getting someone into the chase. Ford, the only manufacturer with... Oh, trouble! Well, big rack, too. Rob oh, Evans it, took a no big caution. shot. Uh, he's going to act to pit. Yeah, we stay green. green. Wow. Maybe not. That's, oh, I... that's a miracle in itself. Normally, if you see someone go sideways like that, there's a, there's a wreck and a caution. But we stay green. As I was trying to uh, say. Never mind. Um, They're going to be a wreck. They're going to be a wreck right here. Cold Deaver is going to get turned by Quentin Moore and hit the wall. How? Uh, no, they're keeping it going. What I was trying to say, actually, with the 84 was, right now, um, here real quick. And I can't turn to quit. Oh, oh that's going to bring out caution. Oh, no. Man. No caution. No oh. caution. Now I think it's out. Yep. What I was trying to say, if I could finish that point up now. What? <laughs> Um, as James Ellison leads under the caution, Juan Fernandez collected in that. The point I was trying to say is what? there are no four drivers in the chase right now out of the 10 drivers. So Shelton with a win would make the chase for Ford. So either way, though, yeah, no. let's go ahead and take a look. Crazy. Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened to bring out the caution for the second time tonight. Taking a look at what happened, and they could only make this work for so long, but it's going to be yeah. contact between the 34 and the 33 that gets this started. bounces there, and then the 56 hits the... Kev actually avoids this. It's actually Ryan... Or sorry, it's uh, Brett Hill in the 16 that hits the Ooh. 34, and that's what gets the 56 involved. Hey, Kev is triggered. And it's actually Ryan Houston that was coming along that caused the caution to actually fly for that. Um, let's take a look a at, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at what happened with Rob Evans. Taking well, a look at what happened with Rob Evans. This did not bring out the caution. Somehow. And then good thing we got that safer barrier there, you know, oh. that new technology. Well, that's why it didn't bring out caution because no one actually spins in that somehow. That was a big hit though. Rob Evans, the, the pizza hut is flat. Uh, don't you mean there's thin crust tonight? Uh, thin crust and flat soda. The root beer has gone cold. Warm. <laughs> is that what we're going with? Okay. Either way, yeah. Rob Evans with a great job saving that truck. Uh, Papa Gino's is better, so I mean, come on. Papa John's, you mean? No, Papa Gino's. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and go back to the restart. And we're back. Fields giving the one to go signal. We're just past the halfway point. Rob Evans, the only driver out of the race after the last green flag run. James Ellison is still the race leader over Matthew Eves, Robert Young, Paul Swanson, Stephen Paul III, Jessica Shelton, Card Pollard, Dylan Young, Joshua Hyatt. Hi, Ryan. And Buffode Sacco, the top ten. Chad White, Seb Kuklon, Scott Upton, Sky Commons, Osman Hamid, Sabrina Rogers, Trevor Germain, Daniel Gitterok, Kyle Matthews, and Muhammad Zainadula, the top 20. Uh, so Pollard in fifth right here. Remember, he won in this race to get him in the chase of the Hooters series two years ago and made the final four as we go back to green. Look out for that. As field off turn number four, and we are back to racing. James Ellison looking for career win number one. Eh, it's probably not going to happen. Well, I mean, he finished second in Michigan. That's a difficult track to go to. Uh, Although his I, teammate's going to yep. uh, have something to say about it, I think. Although... Does Ellison clear Houston? Yes, he does. But importantly, uh, Matthew Eves doesn't. What are you doing, Robert? They're going to split wreck. the 25. Oh, I can't believe they didn't record. There comes Paul right here trying another game seven moment win it. 
Pollard's going to try to go for third. Shelton might try as well. Houston to the back. Bumper the double zero. Thankfully doesn't turn him. Yep. Justin Pollard both the wins right here. Robert Young and Andy Ellison. Move out of the way, please. Could we have a Ford 1 2 3 here at Richmond, possibly? Uh, 84 is definitely going to get a little past the 05 car here. Uh, Stephen Pollard the third, now up to third. Shelton's going to get to fourth. Eve's still stuck on that outside line. Here comes the 05. Oh, boy, this is. Uh, Pollard well, we... needing a win and some help to get into this chase. Uh, what are we, like 96 points behind Quentin or something? Uh, I mean, Seb. Are 96 points behind Seb Kukulon. Yeah. Uh, we're like 105 behind Chad White. Um, mm, yeah, but Chad White doesn't have a win, so it comes down to Kukulon. Either way, oh, we got, top oh, we four, top. single file. Swanson's going to clear Eves through three and four. Here comes Dylan Young now in the two. Uh, yeah, because Seb Kukulon, we got to have 17 winners then. Well, I mean, we're going to have... Well, we have more than... Hold on, what are you meaning we're going to have 17 winners? Well, if Paul would win, if I, if Paul wins and uh, he has yeah, to... We yeah, have, right, no I mean, we already have yeah. 21 different winners. It's just one of them's already eliminated from contention. Yeah, as uh, Paul would try to come up there, he's won South Boston in the cup race last year. One Richmond in the Hooters to get to the final four. Can he do it in the truck series now? Well, he's closing the gap on that Ford Motorcraft 38 truck for Blue Oval Racing. Right now, it's between these two as Shelton makes the move for third. Oh, boy. That's the Jaws definitely music. not what Pollard wanted to see. No, nope, the uh, Jaws music is intensifying. Well, yeah, I think it's actually the 38 that's hearing it right now. They're still side by side for third as they go down the back straightaway. Battle for the race lead though. Here comes the 05 peaking off turn number four. Oh man, uh, the 05 makes the move race. down the front straightaway. Inside battle for the lead. If the 05 makes the chase, I might faint. We've had a we've had an escort season. Side by side off turn number two. Dylan Young going for third back there. Can uh, Ellison hang it in strong on the outside line? Holland's last win was Riverside last year, about one, about full season ago, two races ago. Pollard gets the race lead. Does Ellison have anything to say about it, though? Uh, I see a few rain clouds in turn two. Uh, rain not in the forecast tonight. Battle for fourth <laughs> now between Shelton and Bafode Saka. Plus, we got the vortex theory going. The vortex theory, yeah. Uh, Bafode Saka was never won in the truck series before. So uh, his best career finish is one top five with a second. So we're trying to get another one. Well, right now running in fourth. Eves is going to get fifth spot away. The thing I'm willing to bet for sure right now is Ford is not going to have a driver in the chase. Uh, but can they get is... at least another winner this season? They've had Sky Commons, but that, or they had Sky Commons, John Silver, but that is it for Fords in victory lane so far this season. Uh, $1,000 question. Where is the 32 and the 4? Um, well, the 4 is back in 19th, but doesn't have a win. So they're not yeah. going to make the chase. The yeah. 32 isn't much higher. 32 is right now battling for 16th with Trevor Germain. Uh, let me let me pull up an export real quick. To see. Uh, where is Quinton Moore on track? Quinton's back in 34th. Uh, that's definitely what we need. What about the 67? Sky Commons is 14th. That isn't going to help. What about the 24? That's the other one that would have mattered. You said how many points? Is it 96? Yeah. Uh, 24 okay. is 22nd. So one And now the 32 is 17th. So it would pretty much have to be 26 or better. Well, right now he's doing that. Ellison starting to lose the ground on the 05. They'll come to 10 to go this time by. Can Dylan Young do anything with the 38 and still leave himself enough time to get the race lead? Here comes Zayn Abdullah looking up for a spot in the top five now and on his teammate. I don't know where the 92 has been all race, but the 56 and the uh, 55 both have had terrible races. 
terrible run so far, excuse me. Um, you know what? Let's check on that too, because why not? Um, 92 is back in 19th. The 56 we saw was in a wreck. They are 35th. Not that far ahead of the leader, I think. They're about a, straight, a little over straight away. Um, and then the 55 is out. We already know that for a fact, so... Dylan Young has gone to the bumper of Allison, and Pollard is really sweating bullets now. Well, Dylan Young not able to make a move yet. He will we'll do right so here. now, going into turn one. Yeah, the two trucks going to win the race. Well, he's going to have to clear the 38 first. They're still just half a second back of the 05. 38, great horsepower for that Ford right there. Zayn Abdullah now looking on in fifth. Dylan Young clears the 38 off turn number four. A matter of time when he gets to him. As, so now it's the 22, or sorry, now it's the 05, 2, 38, 22, 27, top five. Now where's the 32? Is the 32 keep losing ground or is he still up now? That's, that's our most important thing right now too. Well, 32 is now going to be looking for Passing. 16th. Yeah, so now he's so gaining ground. The 26 has fallen all the way back to this battle. 92 cars getting right up there, right? He used to lap down. So, yeah, there's no way the 05 will make the chase. Doesn't look like it. So it looks like that would be another win that would be just wasted if he uh, hangs on. Yeah, but there than... are just five laps to go. This time by five laps to go at Richmond. The gap, yep, six uh... tenths. Zayn Abdullah is now up to fourth. Yeah, Looking for third. Oh, we'll make the move down the back straightaway on Ellison. For third position now, this is five more points for the 27. Yeah, but they needed the 92 to be really in the back. And they're not, that's not how unless there's a rug. But can the 20, the gap's down to half a second. Uh, yeah, uh, it's well, going to be close. But Fode Sacco really makes the move for fourth as Ellison sees the chance for the win just slip away. Yeah, with that 32 pass to people, there's not really much hope. Now the gap with three laps to go down, or sorry, staying firm at five tenths of a second. And the 32 is The 27 is, is two tenths of a second quicker than the two that last time by. 27 is on the roll. Needs to make a move quick if he's going to do it. Pushing the two through three and four. Literally, he literally pushed the ball for Two laps to go. Here comes Abdullah. Hey, uh, Card Paul, can you go uh, take the out gap the down to four please? tenths of a second? Uh, Paul's going to hang on, but it's not going to be worth anything. 27's going to grab second through three and four. Best thing we hope about right now, the 32 appears in the chat box. Mm -hmm. White flag is out. One lot to go for the 05 of Stephen Paul III. He's got half a second. It's been 35 races since Riverside. A uh, little disappointing right here, right now, but at least a win is a win, you know? Got to get some momentum. And through three and four for the final time, not going to get there. Stephen Paul III, off turn number four, is going to snap that losing streak. He wins the Trigger Kevshire 200. That's pretty funny because I sponsored this race weekend. And if this race was just a couple more laps. Uh, Zayn Adula definitely won. Best career. That's the back-to-back -back second place finishes for Zayn Adula. Zach Flickinger, 17th. Seb Kukulon was 16th. So it all depends if Paul let the most laps do. White was back in 19th. If you do 185 minus 96, that's 89 points. And then the export, that's 25th. Uh, so with that said, um, top 10 today, Stephen Paul III, Mohamed Zain Abdullah, Dylan Young, Bafod Sacco, James Ellison with another top five finish. That is going to be his third of the season. Matthew Eves, Jessica Shelton, Paul Swanson, John Cena out of nowhere into the top 10 in ninth. Joshua Hyatt gets a top 10. Um, let's see, any noteworthy things up there? 
Um, um, I don't see anything. Dylan Young, his fifth top five of the year. I don't, yeah, I don't see anything. Um, Steven, your final thoughts on this one? Well, Stephen Paul third, second time. He's won here in the Hooters and race 26. Now in the Trucks race 26. Well, we got no shot at winning that cup race now, but... <laughs> well, <laughs> Unless we, unless we find a way or something, I don't know. But Paulie will not make the chase. It's all right. You know, at least we got to win this year. Keeping up the – well, we still got the Hooters to try to get a win there. Zayn Atula, back-to-back second-place finishes for not. So and he's going to lose to a, a guy who two people won't make the chase, so that's a tough break for him. Before Sacco, second career top five. Rob Evans, the only retirement. Big F for him. Quinton Moore had to come in – had to pass the 32. That will definitely not happen. Uh, Ryan Hill. So it looks like your chase grid by it's my gonna be about the same as we entered. Actually, it will. I looks like Ryan Hill, get a row, except Kuklan. No, no people on points. We so might have some tool. small movements in between, like based on the points, but those would most likely get reset anyway. So Zayn Adula, Cole Deaver, and Seth Cole would be the guys in the top 10 and Manny Gonzalez not to make it. So, I can't wait for the chase. You know, it's the elimination style format, so anything can happen. A win, every point matters. I think we're going to Pocono next. I could be wrong. Uh, but... I think you are. Uh. Oh shoot. Uh, Actually, I, I can, can tell, tell you right, right now. now. I can tell you right now. Hold on. Let's see. It is. It is Pocono. It's oh, Pocono. Okay. At, at Pocono, end of it. Live Rock will be the first round. And you know what? Like we said, winning is a point stake. Winning the next round will get you into the um what's the word I'm looking a for. A win Walk advances into... you into round two or into the next round, yeah. Yeah, because points like Zach Flickinger with the twenty five points will definitely play to his advantage to try to lock into there. So well, I can't wait. He'll, have, we... he'll actually have he'll have fifty five points, I'll put it that way. Tomorrow we got forty drivers going for uh six for round six sixteen spots. And then on Sunday, we're just going to watch Amy and Henry Sanford dominate. So, can't wait for that. Uh, so, with that said, congrats to Stephen Paul III on the win. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe hey, if you uh, haven't, Dave. Oh, go ahead. Hey, one more thing. Hey, it's the first win for the 05 since the Season 4 Daytona 500 on this channel. Wow. Just had to rub that one in. <laughs> uh... With that said, though, like I said, congrats to Stephen Paul, third on the win. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. Uh, leave a comment down below if you weren't watching the premiere chat with us, uh, just because it helps channel out all that good stuff. For Stephen Paul, third, I'm Grand Fan 10 and 1, and this has been a production of the NRSL. We'll see you guys next time. I'm triggered. See you guys.